Hi, this is Raj. Welcome to the session on SED Type 5. Following are the topics covered as part of this session. What is SED Type 5? When to use SED Type 5? Demo use case explanation. Demo prerequisites and the hands-on demo part. Before we go into what is SED Type 5, the prerequisite for this session is the viewers should watch my session on SED Type 4 as that session has a brief introduction on what is mini dimension and how to design mini dimension table because that's the key part which is going to be used in SED Type 5 as well. You will see why mini dimension is required for SED type 5 as we go on further in this session. Now let's move on to what is SED type 5. SED type 5 technique involves usage of one or more mini dimension tables and a base dimension table with a reference to mini dimension key in the base dimension table. So that's the exact difference between SED type 4 and SED type 5. This reference key in base dimension should be of type 1 in nature. Therefore, it would reflect the current version of mini dimension attributes in the base dimension table. Type 1 referential key should get updated in the base dimension in all the versions of the dimension records. And this should happen whenever there is a change involved in corresponding mini dimension attributes values. When to use SED type 5? When there is a need to access the current values in the mini dimension directly from the base dimension table without a necessity to join a fact table then that is the use case when the SED type 5 would be employed. The demo use case explained. This is the table structure which we are going to see and use as part of this demo. The table structure except one particular fact everything is similar to what we have seen in SED type 4 demo part. That one particular difference is there in the dimension staff SED 4 main dimension table. If you see the last field in this pictorial representation or the data modeling diagram you can see the current staff mini key which is a referential or foreign key to that of staff mini key located in dim staff SED4 mini dimension table. So this is the key difference between the SED type 4 and the SED type 5 dimension technique. Here as part of SED type 5 we have this reference surrogate key of the mini dimension table to point the current version of the mini dimension attributes as part of the base dimension table. And this is what explained as a use case of when to use SED type 5. And then the fact table as usual or as I mentioned in SED type 4, it would have a reference to both main or base dimension table as well as to the mini dimension table through the corresponding surrogate keys. Now let us move on to the demo part to understand further details. Following are the prerequisites for the demo. Watch my video on SCD slowly changing dimension to understand what is SCD in first place and what are the SCD types applied in data warehouse domain. Watch my video on CDC change data capture with Petaho Kettle tool especially on timestamp based CDC technique. The Pentaho Kettle tool and a Postgres database server and a client tool to interact with the Postgres database server. Of course you can use any other database which is compatible with Pentaho Kettle tool. For this demo I am using Postgres database server. 
So now let us move on to the demo part. This is the transformation which we are going to use as part of this demo. This transformation is exactly in line with what we have seen for SCD type 4 demo except for one little change which I have made in the dimension lookup or update step. I have just included an extra field to populate our current stuff mini key using a punch through technique. This punch through technique is used to update this value of the field current stuff mini key with the current version mini dimension attribute value across all the version or all the copies of the dimension record. You will understand what I mean by this when we execute the transformation. So now let us take a look at the records in the source table. This is our source table staff and it has only two records. Just for the sake of simplicity, we have only two records for this demo. And we will manipulate the records in the source table to see what happens for each iteration of transformation execution. Now to start with, let us execute this transformation first. The transformation is running and it has been completed now. Let me select the target main dimension table. And you can see the main dimension table is populated with both the records. And let me select the mini dimension table. And mini dimension table also has two records. And you can see this tab mini key is being populated in the main dimension table as part of this column named current staff mini key. Now to make things interesting let us do an update in the source table. As part of this update we are going to update the store ID from 2 to 1 for the staff ID to John Stephens. In business terms it means the employee or staff John Stephens of this particular retail chain is being moved from store ID 2 to store ID 1. Let us go ahead and update this and run the transformation. Okay, the transformation is completed. Let me select the main dimension table. You can see a new record has been inserted for John Stephens. And you can see both the current version and the previous version of John Stephen is pointing to the same staff mini key which is 3. And let us take a look at what is staff mini key 3. And you can see staff mini key 3 has been updated or inserted for the values of store ID 1 and age 26 which corresponds to John Stephen's current details. And you can notice as I shown just before all the versions of John Stephens in the main dimension table is updated to this particular current version staff mini key. This is what I tried explaining is done through a punch through technique of Pentaho Kettle tool. Now let us make another update in the source table such that John Stephen has been moved or relocated store ID 1 to store ID 1001. Okay, the update is done. Let us run the transformation. Okay, the transformation is completed. Let me select the main dimension table. And now you can see there is another new record in our main dimension table of SCD type 2 in nature. And you can see all the versions of John Stephens is updated with current staff mini key of 4. Which points to our latest version in the mini dimension table. And the staff mini key 4 is now mapped to store ID of 1001 and the age of 26. 
So this is what I have for the demo of a Siri Type 5. Meet you guys on another session. Thank you.